So you get into a so I'm going to seat belt again. This is for the bulldog. This wanna illustrate the uh, how to keep pressure, constant pressure on your opponent's back. So in this scenario, where I'm going seat belt, I don't wanna jump. Jumping is no good because then I'm creating space. The more space I create, the chances are that he's gonna escape. Because that's what he wants. His objective is to try to find space. So if I go like this and I try to jump over here like that, sometimes the guy will roll over and he'll bring me in the guard. Right? Or if I jump, sometimes if the guy is fast enough, he can connect to me, find my balance, and then elevate me, you know, reverse me in some which way, shape, or form. So that's why when I make my transition, I don't jump on my knees like that. Or I don't jump up on my feet like that. Take your time, constant pressure. I put this foot up, and the pressure is still going to be there all the way through my movement. So I'm making a connection right here. I'm using you as my pivot point. So here, foot up, and I keep constant weight shift. Now my hand is going to go under his face to get his head up. Here. Now in my choke, just turn a little bit like that. Okay. So as I'm in this position, I cross face him, get his head up, I go inside. Now I don't want to do this because a lot of times the guy will grab onto that hand. And so I try to stop the choke. So what I do is I monkey grip it. So four fingers, all five fingers wrap it, cover like that, and I pull it around his neck. Now I want to use my head also to help close that space that's right here. So I start to close that. Then I want to make like a diving motion forward, just back up a little bit. So I grab that. And I'm going to drag him by his head in a forward motion. So I start to drag him forward. And then I switch. Now here's where the transition is. I start to slide my fingers in. Like that as I can. Now as soon as I start to make that transition and my head goes forward, he starts to feel the choke right away. Okay, I will ease up on the choke because I need to climb on your back. So I keep a lot of pressure. Constant pressure on him so he can't find any room for escape. So I keep my choke really, really tight. Pressure, pressure. I bring my knees in. That knee goes underneath his armpit. And I slide right on top of his back. Yeah. This one there. This one there. Turn a bit. So again, this hand is going to go away to the seat belt position. I stay tight. Make my transition. I get that head up. Go inside, monkey grip, like that, sorry, <laughs> get really, really tight, I make a diving motion forward with my head to the floor, so I drag him all the way, all that weight is on there, I switch my feet, I start to close my choke, don't close it too tight, because I'm going to sleep, and then I start to slide my knee in, this knee, as tight as I can against the body, get on the back, head down, then I push with my toes so I can come I can come back to Joe. One more time. So again, seat belt. Nice and tight. Foot up. Constant pressure. Look. Constant pressure here. So it is. Monkey grip. I dive forward. To drag him flat to the floor. Start putting pressure. Slide that in. Head down. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I start to bring my knees close to his body. Nice and high. I want a nice high rear mount position. Excellent.